So I've already tried to tell you, I've already told you, it's a Yamaha FG CTA. So the FG is the model. TCA? The, 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 no, CTA. Transcontinental FG. artist? No, no, no. FG model. It's an FG. C. C cutaway. Transacoustic. TCA. Tra CTA. Transacoustic. FG. Charlie Todd Bob? It's a Yamaha FG CTA. Transacoustic. Transacoustic. All there. right. Well, why didn't you just say so? I did. So how does it work? Well, the, you know, the thingy with the hula growly does the thing in the dancing. No, no, what you told me before. Yeah, about the dancing pixies. Yeah, but they're watching us now. you got to tell us about, like, what, how does it work? Well, you got to go way back and start from the beginning. Well, you can't do that. We, we're, they're watching us right now. It's not like they have anything else well, to do. Well, what do you expect them to do? Just turn us off? Like Tech Talk with John and Chris. So we're going to tell you right now everything you need to know about this guitar inside. Outside, on and stage. Everywhere. Watch yeah. this. So the first thing you're going to find on the outside of the guitar, if you intend to take it on stage, is something you're really going to need. A strap button. Check. Check. So the next thing you're going to find at the other end of the guitar is your input. That's an output, idiot. Uh, and then, how the guitar is powered. Boom. A pair of AA batteries. That's incredible. Not even a 9 volt. How do they do that? I don't know. Yeah. What's the power outage on that? 3 volts. Wow. Yeah. Done. Where you go. So here we're going to take a look inside the guitar. And there is the preamp, which is behind all the buttons that are on the side of the instrument. What can you tell me about that, Coot? Well, you can see the three squares there. Those are your three level controls. Right. And this is obviously a double-sided circuit board. The undersaddle pickup plugs in there, yeah. as does the red and white wires coming from the power right and the other lines are going out to the transducer right on yeah nice what's our little, what's little, our little, what's our little red light there that's just to indicate that you've got power on cool yeah power light right on as usual everything is meticulous inside yep the construction is bang on there's a picture of the wiring going up underneath the bridge you can see the bridge pins the ball ends of the strings yeah. and the gray wire goes up through the hole for the undersaddle pickup. Right on. Yeah. Now, let's take a look at the speakers or whatever's in there that's creating the return on the effects. Okay. okay, so here's a shot of the, what I've been calling a speaker that they call an actuator. Yeah, actuator, speaker, transducer. All are acceptable terms. So you see, what we're seeing is this piece of equipment is attached to the bracing on the back of the guitar. It's pretty interesting. Yeah. It's what does pretty, that look like to you, Coot? It's pretty much underneath the bridge plate, like opposite to the bridge plate on the back of the gu guitar. And so, so what, it, what does it do? What is it? Is it actually a speaker? Is it actually producing sound or is it causing the back to vibrate with the return of the effects? I think it would have to be producing sound for some of the top end, but it's probably producing some resonance on the back of the guitar as well. Wow, that's really cool. Right on. It's a neat rig. You can see how it's just piggybacked on to the bracing system. Yep. Doesn't look like it's bolted in, it almost looks like it's pressed Cl on. Clipped on, yeah. yeah. Right on, okay. Now right, let's take a look at the output of this system. Yeah, okay. And here's a really cool shot where you can see the end pin and the battery drawer, yep. and the Transducer. internal speaker. Yeah. So that's how close it is to the back of the guitar. There's the end pin sticking right there and the battery drawer sticking out. That's so cool, I like that. Yeah. Deadly. Right on. Here we are on the old, the silly old scope. vision. The silly scope. We're gonna show you what the actual output of this pickup is with the two AA batteries in it. So. And this is with the volume turned up at about 75%, which is sort of real-world stage. You would never want to put it up to 100 because you want to leave yourself some headroom. So hit it, Chris. Yeah, so you're looking at that max number there, and that's in millivolts or thousands of a volt. <laughs> and 
and without hitting it too hard, we're probably in the like 250, 350 millivolt range, so a third of one volt. And we've already tested it up at full blast. And, and we get over a volt. Yeah, we go from like seven, three quarters of a volt, 750 millivolts up over a volt, which is full professional line level. Line level. And just so you can see, here are the controls. We have the line out level and your power button. You hold this down to turn it on. And there's your master volume that'll go out to your amplifier or your sound man. Then over on this side, you have reverb. The first half is room. The, more, the closer you get to noon, the more room reverb is on. And then at noon, it switches to reverb hall. And again, the more you turn, the more you get. And then course is just a single button, which gets more intense as you go to the right. That's it. And here it is after we've removed the labeling, which we took these buttons, just pulled them off and took this off. I believe this is designed to come off uh, without that. I can't remember, but I've taken them off before. So again, there's your volume, your reverbs, and your course. Gives and you a nice cleaner look on the guitar once you, you know they put the, they put the, They put this on here so that you know. Labeling for dummies. Yes. Dummy labeling. Gone. So there you go, folks. The FG CTA. Brand new product from Yamaha. New cutaway. Serious piece of kit. Very serious piece of kit, as we showed you. What do you think about it, Coot? I think it's a fantastic piece of gear. As usual, Yamaha has done everything right from the start. Mm -hmm. And it's not just for in the studio. You could use it on stage. That's right.